With its feet firmly placed in an HTML universe, Edge gives you the ability to select elements on existing web pages and put them in motion. As well, a designer or developer can leave a placeholder on an HTML page and an Edge project can easily be inserted into that placeholder. In this example here, we're going to actually do that. We're going to take these two images that you see here and have them slide out from this image, and then we're going to put a banner ad in this div up here. And that is the subject of this lesson. I have a web page open showing a site for the High Desert Golf Club. So here we go, we're gonna put the images in motion. And to get yourself started with that, select the first image right here, click on the pin, and you're gonna pull the pin out to the one second mark. So we're going to actually animate from here to here. Remember, we moved towards the playhead when we're working with the pin. And you just select the image, keep the mouse button held down, press the shift key, and with the shift key held down, just drag the image over. And you can see that we've now got an animation. And we can also set the opacity to zero. So it's just gonna fade out. And we're gonna do the same thing with this image. Just keep the pin in place, click, hold, shift, drag across to constrain the motion, just place it over, set the opacity to zero, and if we press the spacebar, you can see we've got the motion in place. Okay, now one final thing we're going to do is we're just going to add a little bit of an ease to these. So we'll add the ease to the translate values. And we'll just use a simple ease out and maybe a quart just to make it a little bit more gentle. And if we turn off the pin and rewind the movie, you can see that the images slide into place. And we can also test this in the browser. And there we go. There are the images in the browser. All right. We can quit Firefox. And the next step in the process is simply File, Save. Just save the page that you've done. And what Edge will do is inject the runtime into the head of the HTML document. So let's go take a look at that. And we're going to do that in Dreamweaver. If you use another web coding application, feel free to use that for this exercise. By the way, you can do this in Dreamweaver CS5 and CS6. I'm just going to open the index file. And you'll see this is all that got added to the page right here, just the runtime. All right, now what we're going to do is add the banner ad. Now, adding a banner ad to an existing web page is a little bit different. You don't just simply copy and paste. So the first thing you want to do is just identify the banner. Okay, so there's the div that the banner is going to go into. So the banner is going to have to go in there. So let's go back to Edge. And File, Open. And I'm going to open the file. And if you press the spacebar, you can see it's just a car zooming across the screen, a little bit of motion in the background, and the text shows up. Now, what you're going to want to do to get it into Dreamweaver is actually open it up in the browser. So just press Command Return or Control Enter. And come to the Tools menu and open up the page source. And what you're going to need is right here. You're going to need the runtime and you're going to need the div. So first step, just select the runtime, copy it, back to Dreamweaver. And you just click in the head, or just above the Adobe Edge runtime here. You can actually put it up in here, but I prefer to have everything in order. Command V, and there's the runtime, and we can refresh the page. So we've now got the hook to the Edge runtime. Let's go back to the browser. And what you're going to need to copy is the div. So you're going to need the ID stage, the Edge ID, and this div tag. So you just copy that. Back to Dreamweaver, locate your div, which is right here, and we're going to take everything out between the A tags and just paste in the div, refresh the page, and if we preview in Firefox, 
save the changes, and you can see there's the animation and the banner ad. In this lesson, I've shown you how to take an existing web page and take elements from that page and put them into motion in Edge. It's not that difficult to do. Just select the elements on the Edge stage and then put everything into motion within Edge and away you go. I also showed you how to add an animation or banner ad to an existing web page by demonstrating how to copy and paste the Edge runtime and relevant div code into a Dreamweaver document or other HTML editor.